So now that we understand what a category is, I want to just um, point out a couple things down here. Look at our watch our status bar, and I'm just going to hover over top of a few things. If I hover over top of this, look what it says down there. It says title block, and then there's a semicolon. Then it says E1 30 by 24 semicolon E1 31 by 42 um, horizontal. So what that is, the first information is the category. The second piece of information is the family name and the third piece of information is the type. Now in this case the, there's only one type so the type and the family name is one in the same. But let's go have a look for instance in a floor plan. Okay let's hover over a door. Okay hover over this door and it says door semicolon single flush semicolon 36 by 84. So there's a tool tip on my mouse as well as down at the status bar in the lower left. So door is the uh, doors is the category single flush vision is the family the .rfa file and 36 by 84 is the type. Okay category family type one family can have many types. You can create types within the family. Okay, This door itself is an instance of that family. Okay, It's an element. Everything is basically an element. This is an element, this is an element, this is an element. They're all elements and different elements um, have different ways of, of viewing and um, are have have parameters and information so you can click on the object it'll give you um, the information and it says this is the family and the type so if you click on edit type you'll see that inside of here those are all the different types this is the family over here okay and the category is doors so inside of this type dialog box you can hit the duplicate button and create a new type of this family and then you can go in and name it and then you have to change your numbers down here so the idea is to duplicate it give it a new name it usually just puts a two after it change the information here to give it a new name and then apply those information thickness height line height uh, light height sorry light width so that little square window has parameters on there that you can actually set the size to and then you hit OK and you come out okay so you can pick on here and edit type okay you can also go in and actually edit the family we're not going to do any of that where you open it up within the actual family editor if you do do that be careful you have to close that off and come back in here um, and then different families have different ways of you know different options some have you know flip buttons and some don't if you hover over a window you can see it's a category window the family is uh, casement double with trim and the type is 48 by 48. So um, just be aware of that hierarchy of how it works by category family type. When you pick on an object you're gonna see some properties. This first set of properties are called instance properties. And What that means is that if you change anything here it's only gonna change that one object. Okay. If you go edit type and then you change these numbers it's going to change all the instances of that type does that make sense all the 36 by 84s will update if I change these numbers and I'll show you that right here watch this is an instance uh, parameter inside of here so I can say you know um, there's not much I can do but I can move it up and down so let's say I move it you know up you know three feet in the air and click here it'll make this 10 feet and if I hit apply that door is now 3 feet up in the air and I can prove that by picking on this section and we'll see one door that's 3 feet up in the air so that's an instance parameter I can change that back to be 0 and that door goes back down but watch what happens if I change a type parameter I'm gonna pick on here edit type I'm, I'm not even gonna duplicate I'm gonna go straight in here and set the light height to be two foot one. Well, I'm going to say make that three feet. And the width I'm going to make, you know, seven inches. Okay, now watch, hit apply. That's a type parameter. So now that changed all the windows of that type. Okay, so instance parameters are the first 
properties you see if you hit edit type these are going to change all of them so if you don't want them all to change that's your key to say duplicate make a new one and then change the numbers that correspond with the name okay hope that makes sense and that applies to just about everything door same as with a window pick on the window okay these are instance properties I can move the window up and down I can change the number I can change the level the phase etc okay um, let's go to a north elevation okay if I zoom in on this window and I change the sill uh, to be you know two feet it goes down by two feet that's an instance parameter if I go into here and say edit type and I make that uh, width five feet okay and it's only supposed to be four so that would be a no-no I should duplicate and make a 48 by 60 or rather a 60 by 48 if I get careless and just hit apply look what's going to happen all my windows have now become five feet I'm going to go back change back to before hit apply okay and then hit OK and go back and change this instance parameter back to be three feet hit apply click out and all is good again so um, there's a quick lesson for you on categories families types instance parameters and type parameters